RTI International is an independent, nonprofit institute that provides research, development, and technical services to government and commercial clients worldwide. With nearly 4,000 staff across the globe, our mission is to improve the human condition by turning knowledge into practice. In RTI's Energy Technologies Division, we are developing an advanced biofuels process for domestic and global applications as part of this mission. Let's take a look at some of these activities. Uh, welcome to RTI's Energy Technology Development Facility. Uh, we're here to uh, scale up technologies from some of the things that we prove in the lab scale and scale them up to a scale that we can develop engineering principles, collect engineering data for future technology development. RTI is uh, unique uh, in, the, in the respect that it's an, a very applied research organization. So we have the ability to take uh, initial concepts really from the lab scale all the way to pilot and then very large demonstration. This is sort of the intermediate step in our process. Uh, we've got some smaller laboratory scale systems where we can do those proof of concept studies. Uh, work primarily with the uh, development of, uh, of materials and that's where a lot of our uh, inventions and uh, um, developments uh, start here in the, in the uh, energy uh, department. We've been able to develop a new catalyst that has the right properties that we can convert biomass into a low oxygen containing, thermally stable hydrocarbon intermediate. Look at the process that, that exists that's already out there uh, and to uh, you know, focus in on its, the funda fundamental inefficiencies to that process uh, and then try to come up with materials that will um, alleviate those inefficiencies. Our goal at RTI with biomass conversion technologies is to produce uh, fuels for transportation like gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel. So what I do is take that intermediate that we have produced from that first process and now refine it further. So you can consider this hydroprocessing unit as a polishing step so that we can produce something that you can actually put into a refinery and then process that further into your gasoline, diesel, or jet fuel. So what we're trying to do is to tackle it upfront where we use catalytic fast paralysis, that the product that we get is thermally stable. You can easily process that with a reasonable amount of hydrogen so that when you look at the overall picture, your hydrogen demand, it's lower. And that helps the economics of the process. So then once we validate things in the laboratory at a small scale, demonstrate that the economics are, are attractive, then we can start scaling up the process to start gathering that engineering data and moving it further down the technology development curve. This is uh, one of a handful of facilities in the world that uh, operate at this scale. It's fairly unique. The scale of the facility allows us to produce large enough quantities of this intermediate so that we can then test the further downstream upgrading of this to advance biofuels. And without facilities at this scale, it becomes very difficult to make those quantities of fuels that we need for future uh, development and testing. It's, it's very important that these technologies are economically viable um, and that they are really available. Uh, once we uh, have a flavor for uh, how the material needs to be made at the commercial scale, we then can uh, identify things that can easily be tweaked here in the lab on a small scale, translate those to uh, the commercial uh, manufacturer. And I think that's also what a lot of our federal and, and um, uh, commercial clients like a about working with our materials development is uh, it, we, may not, uh, we may not necessarily come up with something completely novel, but it's often something that's more efficient for them. I mean, getting technologies out in the real world, that's really what makes the difference uh, of RTI. Additional information is available on RTI's website, rti.org, 